watch till later you get to see this awesome Edison Motors L750 oh it's your humble we're loaded up and ready to go oh we're doing a big task today we are going to try and get three tasks in a row finished uh so i have three trucks set up so we got the f750 here which we are going to start off with first and then over there the, that's the the one on the left is the edison motors lp750 or something something like that and then we got the big ol' Western Star twin steer back there with the rear steer. So what we're gonna be doing today, we need to go all the way over here. Uh, I think this quest is just to help some random dude that's living out there. But we're just gonna say, I guess we'll just say that's the fire warden out there. And in emergency situations, he's authorized to get stuff together to help in a flood situation. We are going to bring him supplies. He can get set up with all his gear. And then once he's good, once he's well and fed, then he can go out and help the people. Uh, I have to make all the deliveries though. So he's going to pay me for that. And... We're just gonna see how this goes. Hopefully we can complete all these tasks today. Oh. The F750 is struggling. What? Okay, this map might be a little harder than I thought it was. Let's kick her in a high gear, see if this works. Oh. This truck is really struggling. Let's go to our left. I don't know if I need to talk the whole time. At the beginning of the video, I feel like it's a little more fitting to speak a lot. Oh, look at this. So we can go straight through, or we can go up and around. We have a trailer. It might be better to go, since that's kind of steep, it might be better to go this around this way. If we move around to this side of the trail, I don't know if the tra trailer will tip if we go around that way. Let's just do that just to be safe. I think we can kick her into gear. Oh yeah. It's the humble truck who is back. I'm back from my fishing trip, man. And also my other trip from to Hawaii, to Oahu to go to Motorfest, man. Oh, I may be going back to Motorfest in a couple of days, though. So, hold on to your hats. We're still got a couple more playlists to go, man. yeah We've got a camper out here. Looks like somebody went camping. I don't know. Maybe they went camping at the right time. You know, their house is flooded. So, at least they didn't get flooded. Maybe their house did. But... Or maybe they just evacuated. I don't know. I don't know the story behind these folks. I'm just here to repair the town. That's all I know. And get my paycheck. Oh, these rocks are not happy. Oh my goodness. Is it the rocks or my truck? I don't know. Uh, it could be the rocks. Look at them. They look angry, don't they? Oh my goodness. So I noticed my mic was a bit scratchy, and so I turned it down a tad. I don't know if it's me adding background music or what, but it's been scratchy lately, so hopefully turning it down a little bit will help with that. I just need to remember to speak louder. Man, these rocks are nasty. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're fighting me. Oh, how's the trailer doing? Trailer, you good? I can't really see it. Nope, the mirror's... Oh, wait, can I? Nope. Man, why the mirror's so high on this truck? What the frick? Definitely not the high suspension, man. Definitely the mirror's fault, man. We're making it across the river now. 
Hopefully we can just plow through it. Yeah, we're plowing through it. Okay, there we go. I think we're just having problems when we first started out on this trail because it was so narrow. Not necessarily the muddy water. Keep her going, it's getting late. We need to hurry up and get the warden fed. We got a big old bunch of potatoes and some of them supplies. Looks like a big old pie. Pie tins or something. Definitely what those are. Uh, we got... Is that like a generator? A diesel generator or something? Some... I don't know what the heck that is. Some like metal... Metal bits and bobs. So we're here. Oh, right at the house. So let's drop off the potatoes. Oh, I need to pull ahead for the trailer. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, living that quiet life. We completed that. I mean, helping the warden out. I guess I'll take a nap here. The warden said it's, it's good if I stay over in the barn back there. So, I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in the morning, man. So, next, I think we need to... I don't necessarily have to. There's some logs I need to get and bring back in town. I forgot about that. So I'll go pick them up. And then... I'll either drive back on my own or... I don't know how I want to do this. I guess I could go pick them up and then... Drive all the way back to the Western Star. I might cut that out though. I don't want to spend... I don't want to make this video too long. Did I forget to show this? No, didn't I show this flooded town? In my last episode? Maybe I didn't. Well, if you guys did not know, there's a... Uh, this is flooded town. So if you want to see it, this is your chance completely forgot about it and I don't think I planned to take any other trucks through this area but look at this mess dang the warden has a lot to clean up now whoa them dang floods man what the heck why floods plague mankind for so long this is so ridiculous man what in the wet I've got our crane truck so we can lift the cabins into place. Oh, we need to pick up this bad boy. Can I attach it? Too far away, you sucker. I'm right, right up there. I don't know why I'm trying to destroy the trailer, but I am. Is there another path? I don't think so. I think I have to go back the same way. Interesting. I could deliver these, but I, I don't know. Might be too much of a task. So we could take this where we need to go. Or... We could just float them down the river and they can pick it up in town, right? Yeah, I think I think that's the best idea. We'll just float the logs down the river. The warden said that's the plan, okay? If you guys didn't know, the warden said that's the plan. We are meant to go into the river with our logs and float them, float them to the other side or I guess downstream not the other side so we're just gonna go unpack our logs hopefully the river takes them to where they need to go if we just detach the trailer hopefully that will flip it over oh no oh no the river's pushing me now what I wanted to do is just 
pull the trailer over. Knock them logs off. Come on. There we go. We did it. Okay, those logs will probably most definitely float across the river now. Yep, they're in there. Okay, we're good. Okay, on to the next task. On to the next task. Nothing to see here. We did our job. Alright, look at this. We've got our big ol' Western Star loaded up with the cabins. We've got our crane over where we need it. So we're just gonna deliver these. Uh, and then all we have to do is deliver the food with the Edison Motors truck. That's gonna be really interesting. Let's get her done, man. Get her done. I was going to do a trucker skit. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling lazy today. That's a little too much effort. That's a little too much effort. Unless I edit together um, Rubber Ducky chatting with Big Gator. Probably not. That's gonna be annoying too. So let's just continue on our ride. Low and slow and deliver these cabins. Yeah. I think the extra weight of these really makes the truck not like this. But wait a sec. It may be a bad idea. I might have to rescue myself, but I heard if you unpack the cargo, it takes some weight off the truck. So hopefully this is the right way of doing it. Uh, I could lose cargo, but I do have a sideboard bed. So let's just play it safe. I'll watch the trailer. Maybe I need trailer cam, I don't know. It's really awkward to play it this far back though. I don't think that's safe, man. Okay, we're on this hill now. We should be good still. Now on our way up the hill, are we good? Yep, we're good, we're fantastic. Absolutely fan freaking tastic man. Don't you worry. We've got this. Yeah Humble redneck trucker Yeah, honk that horn Oh my goodness I think I'm going to pack them and then take it down this hill Cause there's no way it's surviving. There's no way it's gonna survive that with unpacked cargo. I don't even trust. I. I don't even trust this mud pit here. I'm gonna keep it patched up for now. Packed up. If you don't mind a slight little bit of cheese. Uh. Oh, almost lost one. If you don't mind a slight little bit of cheese, then unpacking your cargo, if you're stuck anywhere and you unpack it, probably not a good idea if you're on a hill like this or if you are using a flatbed. So I'd suggest Pack it whenever you're on a treacherous path. Uh, and if you're stuck, unpack it. You know, you just gotta use common sense, I guess, with this method. Oh my goodness. The thing is, I'm the type of person that if I'm not talking about it, I'll forget. You know what? It's actually performing a lot better than I thought it would. With the cargo packed. That's nice. The humble redneck. Oh, we're riding, we're cruising. Oh my goodness, there's trees. Oh, the blue sky is so beautiful. We got carrying these cabins to help these people. Oh my goodness. Bless them all. We're gonna save Australia. 
Deep, we're gonna save the outback from the floods. Give the people back their homes and start up society again. Let's go. Yeehaw! This is another yeehaw episode where I say it more than once a, once a video, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we lost one. Shoot. Did I unpack it again? What the heck? Okay, well the trailer decided to unpack itself. So I guess we have to come back for that one later. These freaking cabins and their freaking heftiness. If I go off road, is that a little bit better? Instead of going through all the rocks? Oh, come on! Get up here! Oh no, the fuel tanks are in the way. Frick. Winch that sucker out of here. The plan is to drive along the beach anyways once I get up over here. So, yeah, isn't this the spot? Yeah, I think I want to drive along the beach. The shore here. I don't know if that's the best plan. But it's the only plan I've got, so we're just doing it. And hopefully that cabin stays there. I'll have to figure out something else to get the third cabin back. Maybe I can get my friend Rubber Ducky to help us out. You know my truck's yellow, I'm not Rubber Ducky. I'm Big Gator in the Big Western style, because it's a big long truck. And it's got, you know, a long hood. Kinda looks like an alligator if you squint a little bit. You know, is this gonna fail miserably? Maybe. Do I care? Nope. We're just going. See, look, we, we just have to go. Oh no. I just have to be careful. I just have to stay right on the very edge. Oh my goodness. Don't worry about it, man. The humble truck is on the case again. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa, that's deep. But here at the Humble Trucking Co, we don't, the flood doesn't come to you. We go to the flood. Uh, maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe nobody wants their cabins flooded, but we got to test them somehow, right? Oh, I did not. Oh, I did not notice there's a big wash out here. Oh, no. Oh no, please work. Oh no, the trailer doesn't look happy. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, please no. Not this again. Oh, we survived, I think. Oh no. I think we did survive the worst of it though. Dolly pivot lock. And then if I reverse, we should just go straight back. I think that's good. Hopefully that's good. I might have parked a little too close. You gotta live with what you got, man. That's right. I stop the engine, unpack the cargo, change to our... Parkariously, parkariously parked at. Go to the crane mode. There we go. Crane. Let's go. So let's put the first cabin out here. Oh. I did not know how crooked and sideways this crane was when I first set it up, but we're going to live by Humble's words. Gotta go with what you've got. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Maybe not. Do we get it? I think that's placed perfectly. Yep, we got this. Don't worry, man. The humble crane driver is back. Yeah. I forgot. There's actually a camera I can change. Oh, look at that. Now I can use the very technical crane camera. Uh, I'm on the side of a hill, so it's not the best. 
but it definitely helps a lot more. Oh my goodness, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> oh no. I just need to go back and get the fourth one, I guess. We're here to rescue man, let's go. I got my Pacific P12 and we're ready to pick up the cabin. Let's go man, yeah. I don't think it'll fit. So we might have to play around with the crane like that. I feel like you move, tree, you mother trucker. No, no, no. What? Why was my, where was my winch? If I go, oh no. Frick. 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 Wow. I'm the humble trucker not liking this. Nah, -uh, man, nah. -uh. No, oh, you game. I swear, if this falls in one more time, I'm gonna lose my crap. I'm gonna lose it all, okay? She's gonna give me diarrhea or something. Trees, you suck. Rocks, you suck, cabin. I'm not very happy with you, you suck. You son of a duck. Man, this is the last time I transport cabins for people. Man, I enjoy helping others, but man, what the frick, I enjoy trucking. But oh my goodness, man. Frick these frickin' cabins. I'm never transporting one of you again, you suckers. Frickin' container cabins, you suck. You should burn for your sins, man. Man, what the heck? Please, don't hurt me, cabin. I just need to deliver you. I promise I won't. <laughs> it's making me speak in a British voice now. Oh my goodness, man. Well, we are now on the bridge across, going across the river here. I do not know how to survive this. I could try and winch to a point on the other side, maybe. Okay. Please just stay. Finally, I did it. Let's go, man. Finally. I can sleep at night knowing that I delivered all the cabins for the people. Finally, I delivered the demon spawn cabin. Yeah. I don't know if anyone wants to live in this cabin because it's definitely haunted or something. But that's, that's what they ordered, so I'm going to deliver it. Man, I'm going to have to call Ghostbusters or something. Oh my goodness, man. Finally, what the frick? Game, you suck. Accept that. That was no easy task. You really did well out there. Finally, it actually worked. Man, I'm using the medieval accent instead of the humble voice inside the cab now. Man, but it worked, man. Yeah. Finally, the humble trucker strikes again. Yeah. We are on to our final truck. Let's go. What is it called again? Wait, I can just go into this menu. The Edison Motors L750. Oh, we got this. So, this truck is basically powered by a diesel engine, which then powers all the motors that control the wheels. This thing sounds a little futuristic. Taters, the consumables, and a big old generator fitting for this truck and we're gonna take her for a spin I'm on the highest suspension it's got lots of torque it only has one single gear because it's 
the electric motors. It doesn't have a traditional transmission. So we can keep it on low plus or auto and it'll do pretty much the same speed. I don't think it gives any more power. We can also do low and low plus. But that's about it. Oh no. Is she sinking? Come on. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. You can do it. Come on, truck. I believe in you, miss. You're beautiful. Look at you. You got so much viewpoints. The plush interior. Fancy schmancy cameras so I can see behind me. Dang, ma'am, you're a good truck, aren't you? Whoa, we just have to maybe stay on the edge a little bit. Keep one tire on the edge. It's actually doing really well. Three slot, sideboard bed. Oh, it's a long, she a long truck. It's actually handling this super well. I don't think it's gonna do good going across the river like the Western Star, so I think even though we have a trailer, I think I'm gonna take this path. You know, I might as well just keep it in auto since there's no difference between low plus and auto. And then I can reverse whenever I want. I don't have to shift or anything. That's probably the, my best bet. Let's do that. Oh. I'm gonna have to put something at the beginning that says, Watch till later, you get to see this awesome Edison Motors L750. Oh. See, look at that. I don't have to shift gears or anything. I don't have to shift back into automatic. I just climb. I just go, can reverse. Oh no. Uh, I see this truck does not like rock climbing. Oh no. So all it do does need is a winch. So I guess it can climb rocks. It just needs a little help. So let me try and... Go around the big old rocks a little bit. So I don't get caught. Truck's performing really well, actually. Look at that. Oh no. I don't know about over here. The bumper might catch. Oh no. Climb it! Please climb it, baby, climb it! Yeah. Yes. It's doing it. Keeping it in low minus. It's doing it. It's doing it. Put into high, high, low, low, high. I guess that's low plus. You wouldn't say low, high. What the frick? Okay, rammer through the mud. Rammer through. Yeah. Come on, battering ram. Yeah, yeah, man, wait, why are my arms longer all of a sudden, what the frick? Anyways, oh my goodness, we're cruising now. She really putting all that muscle into it, yeah. Pedal to the metal, and hang on for a good old redneck time, yeah. Drive on the mud parts. Definitely need that, oh no, keep going. Keep going. Please. Come on, she can do it. She got them big old mud tires at the back. Really thick monster looking tires at the back. And at the front, just two steering turn wheels. Got that. Oh, we're passing the warden's house. Yeah, Mr. Warden, don't worry. Don't worry, Fire Warden, we got this. Oh yeah, you believe in me? Let's go. He believes in the humble trucker. He says, just go drop that stuff off. And the town will be grateful. You can get your pay. Let's go, man. This truck is a machine, though. I might add this one to my fleet. I usually like trucks with large capacity and versatility. 
Oh no, we have to go through the... Oh no, through the mud again. Keeps on trucking just like the humble redneck. Yeah, Let's go, we're gonna deliver this sucker. Amongst all the floods, the muds, and the yeehaws, we will sure, surely do this, man. Let's go. Oh, we got a big old long winch. I don't know if you can see it. It might be difficult to tell. But we're pulling the winch, man. Let's go. Oh my goodness. She partially underwater, man. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, man. The water doesn't look that bad pushing up against the truck. I wonder why you can't see the cab. You can't be in this cab when it's below below the front or above the engine, sorry. If it's above the engine, you can't go into the cab view. But that water didn't look that bad, did it? They could make it so you can go in like a submarine, can't you? If the water is solid and muddy like that. I think that's fine. Okay, take our last turn. Man! Why do I have to encounter trees as my worst enemy? The times I have to deal with these god dang trees, man. What the frick, man? So I think we just deliver the generator. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just back up into it, I guess. Come on, deliver the last thing. We're gonna do it, man. Yeah, my, me and my long arms. Oh, the potatoes and consumables. Oh, let's go. It's folks like you that keep the place together. Thanks for picking up the rescue effort. Oh, wait, what does that say? Does that actually say pitching in? On the okay, what the heck? That font, I swear, definitely the font's fault. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, oh, it was a doozy. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you want more. I suggest that. Uh, what else? I think that might be it. I'll be playing more Motorfest after this video. Maybe it'll be something else. Who knows? But see you guys. Oh, in the pho photographic memories. Metal bits and bobs.